welcome to another episode of practical science experiments this is science a plus this lesson is on identification of biomolecules organic compounds make the living body there are biomolecules that are significant for the formation of the human body they are carbohydrates proteins lipids and nucleic acids we are going to do tests to identify carbohydrates proteins and lipids and as carbohydrates we are going to identify monosaccharides disaccharides and polysaccharides we are doing the glucose test to identify monosaccharides and the sucrose test to identify disaccharides and the starch test to identify polysaccharides these are the three main types of tests for carbohydrates if you like to see more science practical videos click the subscribe button and you can read this as an article on our website www.scienceaplus.com let's start with the glucose test we need glucose benedict solution a boiling tube and a bunsen burner or a wine spirit lamp to provide heat let's see how this practical is done This is the colorless glucose solution. This is the Benedict solution. It is blue in color. This is the boiling tube we are going to use. This is the wine spirit lamp. We use the wine spirit lamp to provide heat. First we take the glucose solution and then add a few drops from the benedict solution. Let's observe the color of the solution. It has a light blue color. Let's heat the solution. First we have to hold the boiling tube properly. Then the boiling tube needs to be heated for several minutes. Observe the color change. Here we are using a white background to observe the color change properly. When you are doing this experiment, you need to gently shake the boiling tube. That is for the even distribution of heat and to avoid spilling of the solution. You can see the light blue solution is changing its color to green. and then greenish yellow from the greenish yellow color it turns into orange color Gradually, it's turning into a brick red precipitate. Here is the series of color change that we just observed. So in this practical, we saw a series of colors changing. The solution started from blue color and then it turned green, then greenish yellow and then orange and ended up as a brick red precipitate. So we can conclude that the given food contains glucose. Next test is sucrose test. We need a boiling tube, a Bunsen burner or a wine spirit lamp, a sucrose solution and diluted sulfuric acid. Let's see how this practical is done. For this experiment we use the Benedict solution just like before. 
and this is the sucrose solution. Here we are using sugar. We use diluted sulfuric acid, a boiling tube and a holder for this experiment. We use the wine spirit lamp to provide heat. First we add a small amount of sucrose solution into the boiling tube and then add a few drops from the Benedict solution. The solution is now light blue in color. Next step is to heat the solution and you have to observe if there is a significant color change. Here you can observe there is no color change. That means there are no monosaccharides in this solution. The next step is to add few drops from the diluted sulfuric acid solution. Let's heat this solution and see the changing of color. Now observe the color change in the boiling tube. First, this light blue solution turns into green color. Then, it turns into greenish yellow color. From the greenish yellow color, then gradually it turns into orange color. Now, it is starting to precipitate as a brick red precipitate. Let's analyze what we just observed. The initial solution without sulfuric acid did not give any significant color change. That is because there was no monosaccharide in the solution. When we added diluted sulfuric acid, the acid converted the disaccharides into monosaccharides. So the sucrose converted into glucose. The converted monosaccharide brought the color change. So in this practical you saw there's a color change. Starting from blue the solution turned into green, greenish yellow, orange and ended up in brick red precipitate. Here the color change observation is similar to the monosaccharide test. That is because the disaccharide sucrose in this test is converted to monosaccharide glucose that was done by adding sulfuric acid. That is why we get the same color change in the end of the experiment. So with these observations, we can conclude the food contains sucrose, which is a disaccharide. Let's identify a polysaccharide. Let's do the starch test to identify the polysaccharide. We need grinded cooked rice or a slice of potato, a petri dish and the iodine solution. Let's move on to the practical. This is the slices of potatoes we are using. Here we got some mashed rice. And this is the iodine solution. See that the iodine solution is brown in color. We are using a white background to clearly observe the color change. The next step is to place mashed rice on the white background. Then we are adding few drops from the iodine solution onto the mashed rice. 
Now you have to observe the color change. The brown iodine solution is turning into dark blue or purple color. Let's try this again with the slice of potato. Now you can see there's a color change. Brown color iodine solution is turning into dark blue on the potato slice. So we had this observation. The purplish blue colors appears and this confirms that the food contains starch. Our next practical is to identify proteins. We are going to do the biuret test. The biuret test can be done a grinded dal solution or a solution with egg white and we need test tubes, sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate. Let's see how this practical is done. In this practical, here we have got an egg white solution. And blended and filtered dal solution. We use sodium hydroxide for this experiment. And this is copper sulfate. Look at its color. It's blue in color. First, we are doing the experiment with egg white solution. We are adding the egg white solution into a test tube. And then we are adding a considerable amount of sodium hydroxide into it. This is an essential step to get the expected results. Then we take copper sulfate into the eyedropper. Then add dropwise into the test tube. Now we have to shake the test tube well to observe the results. Here you can see that the solution has become purple in color. Now we are repeating the experiment with the dal solution. First we add the dal solution into a test tube. and then add a considerable amount of sodium hydroxide into it. And then add copper sulfate drop by drop then the test tube need to be shaken properly the final color change is purple color we can see the solution is now turning into purple color here you can see 
both the egg white solution and the dull solution have turned purple. We observed that the solution turning into purple color. So we can conclude that the food contains proteins. Our next practical is the lipid test. We need test tubes, coconut oil and the Sudan 3 reagent. Let's see how this practical is done. In this practical, we have to take coconut oil into a test tube and then we add the Sudan 3 reagent. Here you have to observe that the fat globules in the solution are becoming red in color. What was the observation? We saw there were red fat globules in the test tubes. So the conclusion is that the given food contains lipids. Hope you enjoyed our science practical video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. If you wish to support us, check out our Patreon page and to read more science related articles, check out our website www.scienceaplus.com. Thank you.